Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. This is back on Rex Accu Season. It's basically a troubleshooter for the advanced edition for newbies. I'm kind of like bringing it up to the latest build and question and answers for the Rex Accu Season advanced edition. This is meant to be an addition to the original video I did about Rex Accu Season Advanced Edition. I got a, quite a few questions in that, which really prompted me to make this video, so I do hope it's going to be of help to you. So let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with this video. So the first step you should take is getting your Accu Season up to the latest build. I've got the latest build, which I'll show you in a moment. So it's uh, the end numbers count here, 1012. Now, with, with the, in the old days of Accu Season, it used to come up. If you hadn't used it for some time, there's a, a new update. Do you want to update? You click yes, uninstall the old version, install the new version, and it will come up several times till it got to the latest version painful UI back in the old days. Now it seems to have changed, at least with the advanced edition, maybe with the standard edition. Click on this speech bubble and just give it a second or two to load. It will actually bring up the latest edition or the latest build. So download the latest build. If you click on install now, it will download the latest build in your downloads folder. So keep that in mind. I don't need to do that because I've got, as you can see, the latest build, as I showed you before. So I'm up to date. Now, if you don't have the latest build, download that file. So go back to this one. It'll just take a second to load in. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. Download that. It won't install it. It will just download it. On your version you're using, go to options. If you haven't installed the latest version go to options restore original files i've got my community folder open to show you i don't have any rex folders in there because i've restored my original files just to just to demonstrate this point so it will remove all your rex folders from your community folder that's an important point then once you've gone to, once you've got to that step go to control panel so this is for the old builds and you want to install the latest build. Go to control panel. Go to programs, uninstall a program. I'll do this step by step for you just to save any questions that possibly may come like my way. Go to Rex Accu Season, click on that and uninstall. Obviously, I'm not going to uninstall that because I do have the latest build up and running, as I showed you before. So that's your first step. Get to the latest build. So now, assuming you're up to this point and you have the latest builds of Rex Advanced Edition, Rex Accu Season Advanced Edition, one thing I'll mention here, I just looked on Orbix Central, it's still showing Accu Season, not the Advanced Edition. Now, I don't want to go and buy it from Orbix Central. Again, Accu Season, obviously, I already own it. Can somebody confirm if you have the Orbix Central version, does it now install the Accu Season Advanced Edition? If not, it's worth clicking if you have a speech bubble here just to see if it's the same as this one whether it gives you the latest build i'm left in the dark on that one i don't own the orbic central version but if somebody can let me know let us know in the comments whether it now updates to the advanced edition or not and if not you'll have to go to rex directly there i'm afraid do go and look over my original review video of rex Accu Season Advanced Edition, it may give you a few pointers. Let's talk about automation first. Let's just go to this knowledge base bubble again. Now, there's another thing that's down here Accu Season Not Loading. This was created in September. Let's click on that Accu Season Not Loading. And when I click on the desktop icon to start Accu Season, it will not show, but shows in a task manager as running. It's likely saying now that you have it set to automation mode and to disable that. With this latest version, it doesn't seem 
I'm going to put automation on. So what automation will do, apparently every day or every week or something of that sort, it will update on the current climate. So the way the tree colours look, you know, the time of year, that type of thing, and then load it into your community folder. That's if you have automation on, so you can click that and forget it. If I come out of Vacu Season, make sure it's not running. It's not now. It's completely closed down. Go back to my start panel. I click Vacu Season again. It no longer... Yeah, I was going to say. It no longer seems to go down to your taskbar. So with the latest build, touch wood, or from the sounds of things, from the looks of things, it looks like that's now been fixed. It's not going down to the taskbar, so I can turn automation on or off there. Let me just turn that off for a moment. So if you want automation, what automation does, like I said, uh, so it does do it daily, and you can set a time daily when you want it to update. Uh, I guess 12 a.m. <laughs> is okay there. 12 a.m. is a wee bit early. Let's just say 12 p.m. is probably a better time there. So when it gets to 12 o'clock, I'm just an hour away from that at the moment, it should update to the latest version daily. So you can have that on and just leave it. Now, if I was to come out of that, well, l let me continue there for a, for a moment. I'm going to turn automation off. So that's kind of click on and forget if you want that. So I've clicked it on. I'm going to go to my community folder. You can see now, because I've enabled automation, it's in my community folder. If I want to remove that, go to vegetation. So I'm removing the automation. Remove from sim. There you go. The Accu Season has now gone from the community folder, so I don't have any Accu Season files, just to make sure, from my community folder. One other thing, just as this is a newbie guide, if you want all these weather presets, you can apply any of them. So if you wanted a windy day, broken clouds, winter, spring, summer, any of these, if you wanted any of these, just click on them independently to apply them to the sim. What I like to do is just install all. Oh, good grief. Hey, download complete. Ah, uh, now it has Rex Accu Season Weather. It has added the folder in my community folder, as you can see here. So that's all these weather presets uh, installed. So you don't need to worry about the weather anymore. Now. now, let's just show you a couple of things here. I want to go through a fall preset. I want something subtle, not too strong which will be a crisp afternoon, as you can see. Well, no, this one, farewell to summer. So the trees are just starting to turn. Let's apply this to Sim. Remember, I've turned automation off and got rid of anything that automation put in. So I'm just applying this preset, which is there, farewell to summer, to the Sim. It's put it in there. What I can do now, and this was a question, do you have to have Rex running, Accu Season running? No. It's applied to your community folder. I can close that. Rex is not running in the background, as you can see here. I'll click on my Steam. Click on Start Microsoft Flight Sim. And I'll join you in the Sim in full screen. So there we go. In the Sim, in the Cessna 182RG. I'm flying around KATL, Hartsfield, Jackson, Atlanta. And as you can see, that preset, was it farewell to summer, just to remind myself, seems to have loaded fine. You can see the trees are going slightly brown. Because it's just coming out of summer, we're not in full autumn in that preset, and you've got a lot of green trees. So that preset is loaded fine, without Rex running in the background. Remember, it inputted that preset into my community folder. If we go to weather, as I showed you, I installed all those weather presets. And if you followed my directions, you should have these as well. Let's do something more dramatic, like Big Storm. This is pretty good, you know. It's like having Rex Weather Force installed in Accu Season. It's not quite as in-depth as Rex Weather Force, I've got to say. What's my aircraft doing? Let it just level out. Not cool. <laughs> not quite as advanced as Rex Weather Force. Maybe I'll do an update video on that. But you do get those nice presets installed and it's far better than what you get in the sim generally, I've got to say. Let's just do lightly scattered in autumn. That's the one where you can really see the trees and canopy in all their details. 
So that's that preset installed without Rex running in the background. Okay, what I'm going to do now... Yes, okay, all the speeding and goodness knows what. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quit out of Microsoft Flight Sim. And that's important. If you want to install a different preset, quit out and install another preset with Rex Accu Season. Okay, so bet back in Rex Accu Season. Let me just bring up my community folder there. There you go. I've got my community folder up and Accu Season up as well. So you can see what's going on with the community folder when I install and remove files. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove Farewell to Summer. That's the one I had in. I'm going to remove it from Sim up here. So whatever you have in there, it will remove it. And you can see that folder's disappeared. We've just got the weather presets, which I'm going to keep in. I'm going to install something a little bit more dramatic. I do like country roads, so I'm going to apply that to Sim. And you should see a folder click in here. And I'm just, just going to show you a couple more options. There you go. So the folder's been added there. So we've got Country Road. I'll show you that in the sim. Remember, don't have Flight Sim running for this part. Going to go to Options. You can see you could change pretty much what it showed you when you installed the update. You could change the vegetation height, the canopy type, and whether you want it on standard density or low density. You can change that. I'll keep it at low for cities. I'm going to change this to Resilient Colours. The vegetation color tones and just to be sure I'm going to remove that country road maybe I should have done that before applying country road now I'm going to apply to sim country road because I've changed it to resilient colors there just to be sure so let that just load in again it's added that folder again and terrain now this is not your trees this is more giving your terrain and you can read this for yourself a beautiful realistic look i'm going to put this on late autumn now will this add an even another folder rather to my accu season we shall find out and you can go around and play with all these options File loaded, there you go. So it's given us all the different terrains from North America, UK, Europe. Isn't that fantastic? With hopefully those resilient colours in there as well. If you wanted to get rid of all those files, just restore original files. It would take all those files out for you. If for some reason you ever wanted to do that. Maybe you got too many in there and you just wanted to restore everything. Then you can just restore original files. So with that vegetation installed and that terrain installed, let's see how this now looks in the sim. There we go, back in the sim, around the US, so we're around KATL, Hartsfield Airport again, with the new preset installed. And as you can see, it looks far more dynamic. And that's with the terrain colouring as well. One thing I should say here is that even in the UK, the trees have a similar colour. So it seems to be a worldwide preset. The terrain colouring will depend whether you're flying around North America, Europe or the UK. So you may get different resilient terrain colouring depending what area you're flying in. Doesn't that look great? Now, if you're flying around areas like uh, Africa, I tried that, the, two, the canopy of the trees do look slightly different, so do keep that in mind. You'll see different tree canopies, and that's default to the sim. But as you can see, this preset's loaded in. I don't have Rex Accu Season running in the background. I just installed the preset, quit Rex, and started the sim, and these are the results. So I do hope this has been of help to you. This is meant to be an addition to the original review video I did about Rex Accu Season Advanced Edition. So I do hope with the both, both of these videos, it's answered many of your questions. If you're still having trouble running Rex Accu Season Advanced Edition at all, go and ask in the Discord. Quite a few of us have it there. So Rilson and Steve Chunzi. They'll be able to help you along with myself and perhaps a couple more people as well. I do hope this has been of help to you though. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and it has been helpful to you. Subscribe for more, many more flight simulator videos on their way and I'll be seeing you soon.